Hi. I just wanted to communicate a bit to you all as far as some of my recent um, finishes for the upcoming art show. Basically, I hadn't anticipated being invited to an art show, but once given the logistics as far as what was being brought about, I definitely said I'd be a part of that and try and place myself on board uh, alongside peers and respective individuals. Um, some are photographers, respective individuals who are an artist as well, and different individuals, you know what I'm saying, as far as leveraging the perhaps of that. But on my end, I was invited as an artist, you know, invited to showcase as an artist there. And particularly that being my first time, you know, being invited to an art show to showcase as an artist, I, I said, hey, let me put a little bit of work, you know what I'm saying, into what it was I wanted to display or would uh, be allowed to display. So I had a couple uh, canvases laying around, you know, just a couple storeboard canvases, you know, would have wanted to do something with it anyway. So I said, let me take some time out of my day to brush a couple acrylic paints together, you know, to try and fashion my um, fashion my pieces as far as the exhibition. So I just wanted to create a little brief video uh, capture of what I had done before these are submitted to the art show. And the art show that I'm referring to happens on June 28th of 2022. And this art show is not only just an art show, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a, it's a, it's an event that's happening aside the occurrence of, uh, wanting to preserve our, um, favorite skate spot, you know, in Washington, D.C., known as Freedom Plaza. So along with this art show, there are other events and different partakes that leverage amongst that as well. Um, I think the art show is going to be called Life Around the Marble, but I'm not sure as far as the, the finalized title, but it's, I think it's going to not only be um, about particular showcases surrounding people who skate Pulaski or what's known as Freedom Plaza. It's also going to be titled Life Around the Marble. So this is an event that I've been invited to by a good peer of mine named Daniel Capello. And alongside himself, he's also curating this event with another individual named Greg Russell. So those are both two good peers of mine. And I felt positive as far as being invited to showcase in that perhaps so this is my video of myself speaking as far as that before I submit these three canvases uh, one thing about art you never know if you're going to sell the canvas or not but I've scheduled to sell these pieces if not as a collection of all three at once then they can be individually purchased at the art show, so. Yeah, man, that's, it's looking positive as far as that. I think that's uh, decent for me to have been invited to showcase as an artist. Aside from that being my first time being showcased in that, perhaps this has also been a decent opportunity where I got to work on the canvases. Uh, I took a couple good paints that I felt like were a part of which colors I wanted to introduce and I basically implemented them onto these uh, these canvases here. Uh, the only real trade-offs like aside from I guess not having these things prepared by a certain date was that once I decided to sign the canvases, uh, I didn't get the best signature I could as far as printing a signature. I feel as though the signature was important for it to have been there, especially for me to have 
just been invited as a fresh face, so to speak, into showcasing endeavors and such. My work should be uh, signed so they can, you know what I'm saying, relate back to me, the artist. So once I decided that I wouldn't leave these works unsigned, I was able to print the signature onto the bottom right corners of all three of them. That was the only trade-off, kind of like having to print the signature towards the end of working on the pieces, kind of. I will show you all these canvases individually. So, for my first showcase, and I want to title my collection, the In Haste Collection. And instead of N-I-N, it's N with the E-N. So here's the first one here. You can see the uh, the color that I created to do the filling kind of. That's a custom color, but it ended up displaying a uh, burnt oranges or you know an orange, a burnt orange yellow. Uh, the mouth, instead of red for the mouth, I colored the mouth blue and gave the red and orange to the eyes. So this is the first canvas which displays a painting of the graffiti tag creek. This is a painting of the graffiti tag creek with a blue mouth and red eyes. Uh, burnt orange yellowish color. I don't know if you all can see in the video, but towards the bottom right there is the printed signature KR and the uh, date of release. So that's the first one there. Second one here, um, part of the In Haste collection. This isn't the second canvas painted is actually the uh, last one completed out of the three. But um, once again, it's another painting of the Graffiti Tag Creek. I, uh, I painted the mouth red, you know, within its uh, like initial colorway. Cause you know when I write Creek on stickers and different things like I always color the mouth red and I'll color the glasses something else but this is a custom color as well this is a combination of a few colors as far as the overall canvases display but other than that just a monochrome black acrylic paint painting of creep the red mouth and blue eyes but that's what it is this is uh this is similar to the monochrome ink styles of the early traditional paintings yet this is just canvas and acrylic paint but it came out pretty decent uh, definitely satisfied with the results that's the second one there Lastly, this is a painting of the Graffiti Tag Creek once again on a canvas. This is a uh, 18 by 24. The other two were 16 by 20s. This is the largest of the three, the largest of the In Haste collection. It's not my favorite, but prior to the one that I'd shown, it kind of was. This was the first one painted of it. Where I said I painted the larger canvas first. This is the first one. This is just another painting of the graffiti tag creep. I painted the mouth red. That's a custom red. That's a reddish, a reddish red, a custom one that I created. And so the eyes are painted the orange, yellowish color that I used to fill in tag for the other painting 
this is the third canvas as far as the NH collection. And I like this one. I had to definitely document some of these uh, displays because if these paintings sell, I won't have them anymore. Uh, I remember my grandmother, she would get a G clay print of her works that she felt good about. Yet, like, hence the name, in the haste of time, I don't have time to go and get G clay prints of all three of these, but if I did, I would. The art show is June 28th, 2022. So just doing due diligence as far as concurrent prospects, prospects, yes. The third one. Hope you guys like these pieces right here, because I know I do. There it is, the In Haste collection, all three of them. So, not only are skateboarders and artists who are peers amongst each other going to be the individual present at the art show. We also have media coverage as well. Not only media coverage which deals within the depths of skateboarding and um, artistries, we've got official publications and media coverages that will present themselves as the date arrives, but the coverage as far as the media is extraneous from the procurement and action taken on our behalf. We believe that the coverages involving the media can not only be a positive beneficiary amongst the likes of our procurement, it'll be able to display what the artists and individuals were representing during the happening of the procurement. Like I said, I was pleased to have been invited to participate in this, and I hope it could push something good, kind of, you know. I hope this can allow Freedom Plaza Pulaski to persist as far as it being a marble-based landmark. I hope this can allow Freedom Plaza Pulaski to remain existent as far as being a skate spot, you know, at the end of the day. We like to participate in events like this because not only does it give us the chance to showcase as artists, it gives us the chance, the chances to um, establish ranged procurements within the perhaps of curating these type of events you know like I said I was invited to showcase as an artist my friend Daniel Capello my other friend Greg Russell putting this together so I felt all, all right to participate and um, submit my contributions so I'm gonna show them once again this is um a part of the In Haste collection. This is a painting of the graffiti tag creep. Um, as you can see, it's mainly an orange, burnt, orangish, burnt, brownish, orange, orange, and sunburnt, burnt type of color. But the difference in this one amongst the others is that the mouth is painted blue instead of its default colorway, which is a red mouth, um, like a reverse reverse colorway the mouth is painted blue and the eyes are red the in haste collection that will be able to view and will be able to purchase on june 28 2022 so this is a part of it this one here i like a lot too um looks to display like a stone edge mainly gray base color kind of uh, looks like a little bit of you can see the water color you can see the whole like drizzle effect kind of the whole like they say now the drip for real but we ain't showing no drip this is a, acrylic paint acrylic paint happened to 
seep in that manner. But I'll leave the uh, thoughts as far as that up to the viewer. But um, this one kind of uses its default colorway of having a red mouth. But that's a reddish orange mouth and the eyes are blue. The blue is a custom blue that I painted myself. I, I like these pieces kind of, you know, for me to participate in creating a collection of canvases for the first time, I think these are pretty decent. You get to see them in that, perhaps, you know, before I submit them because I gotta, I gotta get these to Danny today. Last but not least, this one here is a painted creep or viewed as creep. Uh, I like this one because it's a bluish, whitish, like, cloudish, like, array of colors. Mainly it's displaying blue as far as the fill-in for the, the painting of the tag. Yet, you can see that little hint of white that persists as well. This one uses the default colorway for Creep's mouth. Creep's mouth is red. Uh, the eyes use that burnt orange color that I used to complete one of the other canvases that's a custom color that I made kind of looks like those blazers you guys see me wearing but instead this is actual like display artistry really so you can catch this one along with the other two at the art show on June 28th and you know afterthoughts like participating as far as being a feature artist I'm looking forward to positive uh, strides as far as that, you know. We hope that not only the media coverages that we've invited to this event, we hope that other decent individuals will come and view what it is that we're getting together as well. And for me to be featured, you know, as invited artists for you, I think that's very positive for one of my first jumps for real, man. And I hope to hope to sell all three of these really I want to sell all three of them this collection because it wouldn't make sense for somebody to buy one out of three and ruin the, the other twos perhaps as far as them being a collection so I'm really looking to sell it and as far as pricing I haven't decided yet but I get that together before the art show for real.